Hello, Phil from Got Memories here. I'm going to give you a quick sample overview of an Elmo 16 millimeter trans video. Now, these were made in the 90s. They're old Elmo um, projectors and they've got built in cameras, all the bells and whistles and everything. And it's just a very clean unit. So you have a camera in here. Um, it just runs like um, the uh, Elmo 16 CL. And so I'm just gonna run a very quick uh, reel of 16 millimeter optical black and white. And you can see exactly how I'm gonna capture it here. Um, if you wanna just come around the back here, these are the outputs. So there's an S-Video right here, all built in. And S-Video, and then you've got your audio out, and I've got a splitter for the left and right channel. And then, just using a very simple uh, Elgato video capture, which is all USB. So come around here. So you've got your framer, you've got kind of your red and blue controls. This is kind of be irrelevant really, because it's black and white. Um, you've got optical and magnetic um, audio options. This is actually um, optical. Uh, magnetic is gonna be um, a gold strip on the opposite side of the holes. And so here we are, we're gonna feed this. And hold on one second, stopping that there. This is live right now, so uh, yeah. And do a quick pan around. So we transfer videotapes, film, everything to digital. All the film is over on the other side over there as well. And I've uh, been doing this a very long time. And all right, so I'm gonna, you can zoom in here and just see the feed, how I'm feeding it. The great thing about these Elmos is there's no cogs. Like some of the old 16 millimeter projectors have these old wheels and cogs from, you know, the 1930s, 40s, and they can shred film. This is safe with film, as safe as it gets. Um, and so I'm gonna, the beginning part here is just blank. So I'm gonna wind this on and there we go. So if you wanna just zoom in on here, so we've got Elgato Capture right here. I'm just gonna call it 16 millimeter and then just save it to the desktop. And if I hit continue and then we're doing S video. So you've got your RCA, but we're doing S-video here. So it's gonna be a little bit higher quality. We've got the audio coming in as well. And we're gonna uh, just start when it's ready to go. So just turn it in the on position. And hopefully this should light up. There we go. And I just hit record and it's going right here. It's capturing. So it this, really looks like a luxury this is an old 78 marquee, 78 marquee dealership video. Uh, frame is a little off. There we go. But you can move the framer up and down. And yeah, the, the color is irrelevant because it's obviously black and white. And there we go. And that's that. Turn it off. So I hit stop right here. And then you can trim the clip. We'll just stop it right there. And then we'll trim it to right here at the beginning. And then boom, there we go. Boom, we've got the file right here, MPEG-4. And you own a Mercury marquee? there you go. So there you go, that's the file right there. And these, the prices on these, because they don't make them anymore. Um, my goodness, thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars because there's none. It's whatever the you know market um, holds. Plus, getting one that's dialed in that works properly is a whole nother story. Um, I service all of my own equipment here and through um, Urbanski Film um, in Chicago, who are outstanding. But uh, the people that work on these things are few and far between. Um, as you can see right here, a lot of equipment. I've got Tobin, 
uh, cinema system who no longer is in business. He retired a long time ago. And then I've got about 20 of these Tobin units and a couple of the Elmos as well. Um, so yeah, good equipment. Um, if you've got your own stuff, small amount of film to do, it's really not cost effective to even attempt to do yourself, even though it might look simple. Spending thousands and thousands of dollars on this kind of stuff and knowing what you're doing. And also this film is delicate. So if you don't know if you're handling it correctly, you can break it very easily. And that's it, you got one copy of this stuff. So, and also having a file that's gonna be were uh, going to be able to work with um, all the streaming services, you know, Dropbox and Google, um, put up on Facebook, import into iMovie. Um, all of this stuff has to be a specific file format for it all to work. Um, and, you know, you need all of this extra clobber. So if you're just trying to do your home movies, you know, trying to collect equipment from Goodwill, eBay, it's a nightmare. And I'll just show you really quickly here. This is iMovie. Um, there's a previous project in here, but I'll just uh, start a new one. Um, and you can basically uh, 16 millimeter right here coming from the desktop and import. And it's just there. And boom, there's the clip right there. You can drag that into the timeline and just start to edit if ever you need to edit. Um, yeah. Right engineered 78 marquee. Has more hip room than Buick or Olds. So I if you're looking to just get up. this stuff transferred and have a company do it, um, you know, there are a lot of places around. Um, Legacy Box. Uh, um, if you want to send your stuff off to a mosh pit of, of thousands of people sending their stuff in with just basic email communication, um, yeah, the prices uh, can be quite reasonable. Um, there are a lot of companies that outsource to companies like uh, Got Memories. And, you know, you really got to know who's doing it, how they're doing it. And that's why on our YouTube channel, there's an abundance of videos showing you exactly how it should be done. Um, and a lot of places are just running it through old projectors onto a piece of paper off the wall with a camera at an angle in a dark room. And, you know, hopefully it comes out okay. Um, with us, just a little pitch, been doing this since 1993 um, in England and then over here in the US since 2002. And uh, day in, day out, film and videotapes, that's what I specialize in transferring. Um, excellent customer service. Um, you've really got to feel comfortable with who's doing your stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is uh, what we do day in, day out and complete transparency. Um, so whether you're looking to do this yourself, there are options out there, or if you're looking for a reliable company to get it done, um, you know, do your homework, uh, look them up online um, and you can kind of see the patterns of, of uh, customer service and quality and so forth. But um, Yelp is a, you know, kind of okay place, but this day and age, Google is where all the reviews are at. And that's where we put, um, I put all of my effort into Google reviews. Um, so that's the most uh, reliable source for reviews. Yelp is a little bit biased because they are a um, company that basically, um, you know, sells advertising. So does Google, but Google, I don't know, just I, I like Google reviews better. So make sure you go on companies' websites to look at their reviews on, uh, on all platforms as well and also YouTube channels. Videos are huge. So if you're looking to kind of figure it all out, shoot us an email um, and uh, go to our website, gotmemories.com. And uh, yeah, good resource for help there. All right, thanks again, bye.